Oh, I guess that wasn't fair. There's probably at least seven or eight songs in Dragon Quest, but <laughs> <laughs> hey. there's at least nine. <laughs> Or maybe there's like one per game. Maybe there's at least eleven. You guys are Actually, so mean. This is the first Dragon Quest song that I'm listening to. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my god! Yeah. They all sound like this. <laughs> they, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> they do all sound like this. Hello, and welcome to episode 97 of Rhythm Encounter, the RPG fan music podcast. I'm your host, Mike Salvato, and I am joined today by four panelists. Uh, I'm just going to hop in and let you introduce yourself. So first we have Audra. Hello, hello. And Mario. Hey, what up? And Gio. Hi. And debuting for her first time on Rhythm Encounter is our news editor, Tin. Hi. Hello. Are you excited to be here? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, will, we will try to make it easy on you. Uh, I, I mean, if you weren't excited to be here, I'd be surprised. Like, you pick great songs for the episode. It'd be like, yeah, I don't really want to do it, but I picked some fun songs. But yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, it'll be a fun, fun conversation today. It always is. I feel like I've gotten in this habit just the way the episodes have played out lately. Uh, so uh, where I've been hosting a bunch lately, but have not been having songs on uh only because the last couple episodes like so many people wanted to join i didn't want to like overload us with songs so uh one more time i am here as a host but i do not have songs today because all four of you like jumped on this topic so fast and we're so excited i I wasn't gonna like make one of you leave so i could come on with songs so (laughs) i I think it'll be fun though Uh, i'm really really excited about some of the songs today um oh yeah so what we're talking about today is commuting um, as usual, while recording, we don't have a name exactly. I don't think we're actually going to call this RPG music to slay your commute, but it's because it really depends on what you listen to. Um, as we'll see today, some people want really like loud, motivational, inspirational music on your commute, and I totally get that as someone who lived in Southern California for a very long time. Um, and But then sometimes... Maybe you want something a little more calm because, well, the traffic, you know, it depends on what what works for you, you know? So I I like the combination we have today. Um, So one thing I've been trying to do in some recent episodes is ask people why they're here, Um, or at least what what attracted you to this topic. So let us start with Gio. Like what what was your motivation for coming on this one? Like, why'd you want to do the show? I mean, it's actually funny because I I don't commute anymore because uh, I work from home. But I have distinct memories of um, of driving to work when I used to go to work at an office, and it it's um, it's some of the angriest moments of my life. (laughs) And like, I needed like, (laughs) yeah, like I don't know, driving in Manila is genuinely like the closest you can get to like. Mad Max. Like I always say, like it's like, <laughs> oh my god, there are no rules on the road, and you are if you're not defensively driving, you will, you probably die. I'm not joking. Like genuinely, oh, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, I, I like the music I picked is like more um, uh, peaceful, not really uh, uh, angry because like I need to be calm on the road. It's the only way I can like survive so yeah uh-huh. yeah that's why i'm here i'm, I'm reliving memories <laughs> okay well i hope they're not bad well i hope today is not a bad experience for you i know they're bad memories but they're in the past <laughs> oh I, no 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 i I'm, i look back on it fondly now like it's i just you know yeah. okay um how about you andra well actually i kind of hate driving <laughs> which is always a good way to start off a commute but um, so I created a playlist, and I just love sharing songs from it. So is this just to like distract you and motivate you to like yes. do the thing you don't want to do. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. All right, that's fair. How about you, Tin? Um, I, honestly, this I was more of curious of what you guys are listening to during your daily commutes. <laughs> 
So I was like, Same, thinking, do they listen to high energy kind of battle, battle themes just like me? Or like, are they more chill? And then uh, after quite some time after seeing the tracks, I also realized that we're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apart from that, I also like needed to like expand my song selections. So I want to listen to the songs that you guys pick too. Yeah, this is a great podcast for that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's I share the same sentiments with Gio about Manila Commute. Um, just like him though, I'm no longer commuting right now since I also work from home. But yeah, I, ha- I have some really bad memories <laughs> from commute so, or driving alone in Manila. So it's also like fun, good memories mixed with bad memories. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. See, I was I was talking about like driving in California and like complaining, but it sounds like uh, I don't really have a good place to complain. Because usually there is just it's just that it's slow and it just takes forever to get around, but it doesn't. It's not yeah. generally quite as dangerous as you guys are making it sound. Yeah, I just I get anxious about it. So yeah, like I also didn't live in quite as big a city as Mario has. So um, how about yeah. you, Mario? Like, <laughs> what's your commute like, and why are you here? Oh my god! Um, yeah, I live in LA, so yeah, that commute is quite the journey. Um, Actually, so I actually do like driving. So maybe I'm the only one here who does. But <laughs> um, yeah, I like driving, but I hate the commute because of like traffic and all that. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd join the show to kind of see what other people are listening to. Um, I feel like, at least like in my life, I really don't interact with many people who like listen to like video game music like while driving and stuff like that. I feel like, oh, wait, other people do that, too, when I heard about this episode. So that's that's dope. (laughs) Um, Yeah. But yeah, it sounds like a good mix of really upbeat and high energy and chill songs, too. So, yeah, it's it helps to get through the commute. (laughs) Yeah, my I don't I don't have a playlist specifically for driving, uh, especially since, you know, I also don't have a commute anymore, at least right now. Um, I do have an, an inspirational one, which works as a driving one. And usually that means it's upbeat, but not always. Um, I think I have some stuff that kind of fits the other themes in this one too. So yeah, I, if it makes you feel any better, I, I also don't mind driving technically, um, <laughs> but it's just like when I, when I lived in California, even though it wasn't near LA and boy, my least favorite thing to do and like no offense, but was to drive in and out of LA from where I lived. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. That's, that's very understandable. It just takes so long. Yeah. Like my vision of like driving I like is like when the freeway's empty late at night, but that's like the only time really like every other hour in LA or even randomly with like closures and stuff like that, there'll still be traffic late at night. So yeah, it's, it's hard to find a good time to drive in LA. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice vibe to drive like late at night, like on the freeway. And yeah, yeah. it's a vibe. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of, well, we'll kind of get into my song picks later, but that's particularly with um, one of my song picks I'm going to talk about actually, but yeah, it's a vibe. Yeah. I think I know which one you're going to be talking about. So I can see it. I can see it. (laughs) Out of the two I chose. Yeah. There's one that is very conducive to um, that sort of, that sort of drive is all I'll say. <laughs> uh huh. So have you? I'm sure you have at this point. But have you ever done the done the math on like the number of miles that you are driving and how long it takes? Because once oh. I started doing that, I I uh, I kind of wish I hadn't done the math. <laughs> it's kind of really sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially considering, yeah, during heavy commute hours and everything. Like, yeah, no, it's sad. I, I've done the math before, but I for like previous workplaces, but I haven't done it for the current one I'm in actually. But yeah, no, it, it's sad, especially like mileage and gas. And we start incorporating that. Like, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. I mean, my, uh, you know, I used to have my first car was a little like tiny car. And then I, I switched to a Mustang, which, you know, great, great for mileage. Um, but, you know, when I switched to my Mustang, I had this, it was really easy to like track like how long each like little trip was. So I was like, I got yeah. in the habit of like, huh. Wow, I thought I was like twenty something miles from work. I'm actually only nineteen miles. 
um, which, you know, speed limit is 65. I'm like, that, that shouldn't take too long. But no, those <laughs> those 19 miles were 40, 45 minutes in the morning. Yeah, and no, exactly. Like yeah. an hour and a half in the afternoon. So yeah. I was very happy when I started getting into Audible because I would go through books very fast. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I feel like there has to be something, like either podcasts or uh -huh. books mm -hmm. or there's got to be something to power through because, yeah, I um, – yeah, the commute can be very mind numbing. <laughs> but yeah, so whether it's whether it's books or podcasts or music, which is really what we're here for today, um, at least or podcasts at least there, about music or podcasts about music. Thank you. Wow, I'm not on the ball. That that was really the next logical thing. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Why am I even hosting? So um, I do want to do one thing. I, one last thing before we get into it. Unless you, you know, I've been doing this thing in the last few episodes where I mention games that appeared on the show that have not been on until this episode. Um, but like right now, as I'm saying, it, I realized that maybe I should do that at the end. Maybe people are listening who aren't looking at the track list and don't want to know what's coming up. So I'm going to do it at the end. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. But it is, it is cool that like four, four of our eight tracks today are games that have not been on the show before. So, okay. Let's actually talk about some music then. Um, so our first block here uh, is we're starting with Geo. So Geo, what is your first track for today? Yeah, uh, I brought uh, Traveling with Friends from Dragon Quest 2. Uh, it's a cheery one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, I don't think we've had Dragon Quest. We don't have a lot of Dragon Quest on the show in general, so that's cool. Something different. Yeah, I noticed like a, it, there's like a staggering lack of it. And I, I, I have a feeling it's because of the composer. I guess people are turned off from uh. featuring him, but he's dead now. So, Well, I don't know <laughs> if it's the composer so much as the fact that the series only has six songs. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, oh. So after, oh after traveling with friends, uh, Tin, what's your first song today? Uh, I picked um, Sunless Waterscape. This is from Final Fantasy XIII. It's actually just an arrangement of the main theme, which is the promise. But this one is like the upbeat or uh, upbeat version rather. So I picked this one because it always gives me good vibes every time I'm hearing it. It's like I'm outside the world and I'm ready to get angry after a while. So it's like kind of warming me up for uh, uh, having a a great day, I guess. I like that. All right, let's go listen to "Traveling with Friends" and the Sunleth Waterscape. <laughs>
Yeah, and like, okay, I I picked this one because、um, it's an especially like cheerful one and like propulsive one. Like, it makes me feel like I'm I'm going on a wholesome journey. Like this day is gonna be great. Like work is gonna be a breeze, and I'm gonna go home and do things that I actually care about, and it's gonna be a good day. Like that, it's, it makes me feel that way. Like especially when it gets to the part that's like. Uh, I'm not gonna hum it, but like it, there's like the, when the beat drops and then it's like, yeah, I, this day is gonna be great. It makes me feel that way. <laughs>、um, yeah, I actually listened to this song. I listened to、um, the playlist of the songs of this episode on my commute home today, actually.、Um, so really got the experience. But yeah, this song it looped back to this song like when I was getting home, and I thought it just hit that vibe really well of like day's done, like I'm home. It's very cheery and like.、Um, Kind of transitioning to home life and all that, so yeah, it was it was cool. It's a very cheerful energy to it. Yeah, yeah, very like end of day, like you did it kind of vibes.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah! Like in、uh, in the Muso game,、uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, like they they use this as like the victory theme, and it works really well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so it it kind of became that for you as well. Oh, cool! Yeah, I didn't even know that, but yeah, I think it fits really well as a victory theme. Yeah, and this is from the the Wii. Like one of the remakes of two, yeah,、right? and yeah. So、uh, this、um, arrangement like started on the Wii version, and they just used it for everything else after that. Like, yeah, drag- I first heard it in Dragon Quest Heroes, the Musou game, and then it, it's in Builders. It's in. I'm pretty sure it's in like the remakes of one, two, and three on the Switch, and it, I'm sh- pretty sure it's in Dragon Quest Eleven. So yeah, they, they're milking this one too. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, no harm in that, right? Yeah, I, I don't mind personally. They should use it. They should use it more. Yeah, yeah. it's still weird to think about Dragon Quest one, two, and three are on Switch, and those old Final Fantasy pixel remasters are still not. <laughs> but all right, yeah, I think so. That was.、Uh, oh wait, I actually have the list up right here in front of me. I just wanted to see how many Dragon Quest songs we have had on the show before. Four. So yes. Oh wow. Oh wow. I mean, considering how <laughs> big the series is. Yeah. yeah it, it's been it's been a while.、Uh, yeah, the last time it was on the show was episode forty. Holy、so、shit! That was, okay, that、yeah. is <laughs> quite a while. Way back. Yeah. Yeah. Way back. I will、uh, make it my mission to bring Dragon Quest to future <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Fit Dragon Quest into every single episode、yeah. theme. Like the next, the Persona one coming up. I'm gonna put Dragon <laughs> Quest in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I not to keep talking about builders, but like I, I will never stop、uh, talking about how much I like Dragon Quest builders. So if I had the right topic, I would probably bring one of the arrangements from that.、Um, probably not Persona. <laughs> I love Dragon Quest builders. We should play together. I don't know, like, and I think Dragon Quest builders too has like multiplayer.、Right? It does. I've actually never done the multiplayer. We should play together.、So. Uh, should could be fun. Could be, except when we both get on there and find out that we have different building styles. We're like, no, no, I want to build it this way. <laughs> Creative like,、oh, differences. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that doesn't make it. That's not how I want to do it. And we're just going to start breaking each other's buildings down. It'll turn to a new kind of memory. <laughs> 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 we'll look back on it. It's like remember that one time we tr- we thought it was a good idea to play Dragon Quest Builders co-op. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's why、what、we stopped、time. talking to each other. <laughs> oh. That's why I quit RPG fan. Oh, oh no,、oh, man! Oh no! Oh, you had to go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's never gonna happen. All right, same. Okay, all right. You just you just said that on a recording now. <laughs> no, like I I have proof、oh、that、God. you can't leave us. Oh no, I screwed myself. <laughs>、uh, all right. I mean, I'm happy about it. I mean, I don't want you to go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, we're a little off topic now.、Um, why don't we Why don't we talk about another classic series with Tin's Final Fantasy XIII song? I know you talked about it a little bit, but do you want do you want to tell us a little bit more about it and like why you liked it for this? Actually, I like the first、uh, few words and do the lyrics of the song. It's like、uh, since this song has like vocals, I forgot. I actually forgot the name of the. Singer, but、uh, first lyrics is like "step into the rainbow," and there's also like a phrase that says,、um, "Waves of a new day clear the gloom away." 
<laughs> so after like um uh having such a long day at work at work as well, I usually like listen to this while either if I'm not driving, I'd be either riding the train and like I'm trying to imagine because like uh, in Final Fantasy 13, right? Like Sunlit Waterscape is like a very lush greenery area if you're familiar with it. And like, meanwhile, I'm in Manila and it's polluted and it's crowded. <laughs> <laughs> so like just trying to block off all of those negative energy around me and just listening to this really helps me in my daily commute. So, yeah. And honestly, before I started playing 13, I listened to the soundtrack first because everyone, everyone was like raving how good it is that how... Like, they're saying that <laughs> the music or the soundtrack is a lot even better than the game itself. So, yeah. Yes. I gave it yeah. a try and <laughs> they were totally right. In my opinion, <laughs> so yeah, so like once in a while, the thirteen soundtrack is usually my go-to, and it's it's always uh, nice uh, music to listen to. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> How about you guys? <laughs> Have you guys listened to this? <laughs> oh yes, uh, actually one one question for you, really quick, before other people get in. Have you listened to the other soundtracks like thirteen two and Lightning Returns? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, okay, okay. good, good, good. <laughs> um, they're like three of my favorite in the whole series. So yeah. Uh, which one are they? Like your favorite? In oh, the if I had to rank song. them. Yeah. Of the three, uh, thirteen yep. two. Mine would be thirteen two, and then Lightning Returns, and then the last would be the first one. <laughs> yeah, Lightning Returns is is a weird soundtrack because there's a lot of stuff in that game that's not on the soundtrack because it pulls songs from all three games. Yeah, it's a mix of all yeah, three. Yeah, which is very mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. But the, fir the first one still has some of my favorite songs. Um, oh, gosh. Why am I blanking on the name right now? I'm sure I brought it on before. Can I look it up? Can I look it up? I have not. Why have I not? Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. Dust to Dust. Uh, mm. Dust to Dust is one of my favorites from 13. Um, but Sunleth Waterscape is up there. So I was very happy that you brought this on because... Um, there's a there's a thing, and I'm guessing nobody on this podcast is aware of this because none of you were around back then. But there was a feature we were going to do on RPG Fan. Oh God, okay, in 2014, called side quests. Actually, most readers don't know about this because we never talked about it. But it was going to be like this whole subsection of features where we'd have like regular columns and things like that, which we sort of kind of do now. We just don't call it side quests. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the things, I'm actually going to share this with you guys in Slack while we're talking, which doesn't help anyone listening, but one of the things <laughs> I wanted to do is I personally wanted to do a column on like design and creative things in RPGs. And in my mock-up, the very first thing I wanted to do, and the thing that inspired me to want to do that column was I Ooh. wanted to write about Sunless Waterscape um, oh. because it's just so pretty, like the music and the visuals. It's just one of my favorite settings in any RPG. Yes, same here. I yeah. think I'll... It's like the most memorable place in the game. Yeah, it's definitely up there in terms of locales. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to play Stranger of Paradise, but I know that it, <laughs> this this area makes an appearance in some fashion. Yeah, no, I heard. No I freaking heard way. People. Holy crap, I didn't know that. Uh huh. I don't know <laughs> Is why. Is it chaotic, though? I, I, you don't I want to chaos, <laughs> Mike? Uh-oh. I... Chaos. I've ki I've killed chaos, okay. <laughs> in 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 fourteen, I've already killed chaos. It's okay. We're, we're good. You got your chaos kick already. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I wasn't trying to like talk over everyone else's feedback there, but I just wanted to like <laughs> express my appreciation for this song in this area. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy you brought it on, and it's gr it's great for this topic too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it's kind of a warm song, and it just feels nice and. I don't know. I can see it for going home from a commute and just thinking everything's going to be okay and great. Mm -hmm. It makes me think of rainbows even before the lyrics say rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Which I yeah. like. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like. Yeah, like for me, like, um, it feels like the singer is like comforting me or something. I, I don't, mm -hmm. I, I'm not so familiar with this soundtrack, but 
I, did they get Leona Lewis to sing this? I, I think I remember hearing that Leona Lewis did, did a song for the soundtrack. I don't know if it's... Duh. She did My Hands, which is yeah. the English right. yeah. opening ending oh, theme. Oh, I see. I think it was the opening, uh, I okay. think. Or was it... Uh, or both. I know it plays at the ending because I just played it for the podcast, Retro Encounter, a while ago. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember about the opening. Is, is 13 the one where... Like the English and Japanese ones have completely different songs and vocalists. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, I really like this song. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna add it to my commute playlist for when I. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> don't don't worry, G. I'll add traveling with friends in my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is transactional. You have to add my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good trade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else have any other thoughts, or should we move forward? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good too. Okay, well, as long as you're honest. Oh, ha, that's a good, good transition. Thank you. Um, hey, Audra, what's what's our next song today? Um, it's "Be Honest" from the Buried Stars soundtrack. I totally forgot about this game. I, I <laughs> recall. I think you liked it. It's been a while since I, I did like it. Okay, yeah, this is a nice surprise on this. Uh, on this podcast today. Yeah. And then Mario, what's your first song of the show? Uh, my first pick is Daughter of the Dark God from Octopath Traveler. Oh, Adding boy. some chaotic energy to the commute. <laughs> yep, yep. Always love Octopath. <laughs> All right, let's go listen to Be Honest and Daughter of the Dark God. Be 
Well, as I mentioned before, I'm not the most confident driver, and I do have some anxiety when it comes to driving. So I like music that kind of does pump me up. I have a playlist full of very energetic songs to keep me going on my commutes, and this is probably one of my favorite um, theme songs from a game, so I just wanted to include it here. I love the intensity. It fits so well for the psychological mystery that the Buried Stars BN is. And it's just, the instrumentation's great, I love the lyrics and how fitting they are for the game. And they're just fun to sing to, so that is why I drive to it on my commute. Uh, just real quick for anyone who is not familiar with it, I don't think we really knew to explain what Dragon Quest and the Final Fantasy are, but I'm betting a lot of people listening don't know about Buried Stars, so like, in a nutshell, like, what is the game? It's a Korean VN um, visual novel about like a real a talent reality show that the contestants get basically literally buried under when an earthquake or some kind of catastrophe happens and there's a killer among them and they have to figure out like while facing their own fears and their own inner secrets what's going on exactly so it's a very it's a dark kind of more psychological and intense storyline that sounds cool it does sound cool i don't think uh I would have guessed what that was if I had just looked at like some of the artwork. Like it looks like it might be a little more uh, upbeat than that. Um, oh, I mean maybe. Yeah, it's actually not. It's not too upbeat. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so colorful, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I think also the title of the stars too. I don't know. Yeah, it was actually they were doing a play on the the TV show they were on was called Buried Stars. Oh. So it okay. almost oh, became like yeah. a yeah. <laughs> it's like a subversion kind of thing. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be like if one of these games had like a mascot of like a weird looking teddy bear just to throw you off. <laughs> that would be very interesting. Yeah. Maybe someone should do that. Like Danganronpa. It's, <laughs> it's like that, right? Is yeah. the game like, um, so it plays like Danganronpa then? No, it's kind of more, it's more of a traditional VN mystery. Uh, and it's more, I, I'd say, kind of rooted in realism. More about like instead of like some of the more far out plots i see well as for the song i i I love it for this uh it's i wasn't it it surprised me a little bit because like just the very beginning of the song i'm like oh this is gonna be another one of the a slightly more mellow song today and then like the guitar comes in like oh (laughs) yeah this this (laughs) is exciting it's definitely it's just it definitely is energetic and yeah but intense Mm -hmm. yeah when i actually saw it first like the title of the song and then I listened to it I was like it's completely opposite of what I expected it from because of the title called Be Honest (laughs) yeah oh that too yeah (laughs) (laughs) so yeah I was surprised but it sounded really good and uh, like what Audra mentioned like it gives you that energy so yeah and I'm curious uh, to look up into this game as well it's a good game Especially if you like VNs. Yeah, I feel like with like energetic songs, like commute songs like this, for me it's like the, I don't know if double-edged sword is the right phrase, but like, um, because the song's so like hyped and I'm like super upbeat and energized, but then I realize I'm in traffic and I'm like, well, I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but, I can see that. And, yeah, it has, um, I could, yeah, it probably has varying effects for different people, but um, yeah, I know it's just an interesting... <laughs> um, it's so hype and it's so cool. And then the situation of driving in traffic is not, so. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny because those, I didn't take detailed notes on every song today, but those were actually the notes. That's like the notes I wrote for your song, Mario. Oh, really? <laughs> um, just because, uh, I mean, if actually it, it fits the energy of this one too, so I, I can just say it now, but like, yeah, like the idea of like, being in the car and having this big energetic like it's like yeah like i'm i'm inspired now and then you look down and like i'm going 20 miles an hour <laughs> uh, you, like you can't it's fun yeah. to listen to and it's like all that but like you can't really like <laughs> let it out i guess uh yeah i guess it kind of varies by mood too because i feel like sometimes it also like um could be like it kind of takes you out of the traffic in like a way that's like better than being there, I guess, if that makes sense. That's true. No, it's yeah. true. So that's like the other way of looking at it. Um, so yeah, I, I think it varies, but um, 
Yeah, no, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, do you want to talk about your song? Oh, <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess um, <laughs> if we're ready to talk about Dark Gods, I guess in terms of Dark Gods, um, that's always a fun thing to bring on a commute. But um, yeah, I guess since we started, kind of started talking about this already, but um, yeah, I feel like, okay, so first of all, Octopath Traveler soundtrack is goaded, like it's great. <laughs> um, and I feel like, yeah, the tracks just go so hard and this track goes really hard in particular. And kind of what um, I was talking about earlier, like, or I alluded to earlier, I guess, like, yeah, it's, when you're playing this song and driving not in traffic, <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> um, I think it's very much, uh, um, it fits that mood very well in terms of like when there is no traffic late at night or something. If you blast this song and are going um, at a good pace, <laughs> a good um, legal speed limit pace, then yeah, it's it's a good, um, it's a good jam. So yeah, but, um, and I think just like in Commute, and like the context of a commute, it very much is like a song that brings me out of like, I guess like thinking of a commute of going home, um, or like on my way home, I guess. Like it takes me, like make, puts me back into that mood of like, okay, I'm leaving work and now I'm going home to play video games or relax or whatever. Um, sort of is the relaxation activity of choice. Yeah, um, for me, it, it kind of, made me think of um because like I, I didn't always drive like um when i was in college i'd um, take public transportation home and uh um public transportation and you know in manila is also a nightmare it's like a, it's a special kind of nightmare of like um, <laughs> yeah um uh just cr- uh, i don't know uh sardine tin trains i don't know like i don't know if tin knows what I'm talking about, but, um... I do. Yeah. <laughs> very much. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Um, and you kind of need this kind of energy to, um, you know, uh, push through crowds and stuff. And I feel like if yeah. I had this kind of music, it would have been... Yeah, it would have made me... <laughs> <laughs> Be excited. careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to channel the energy of a dark god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> push through the canoe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, no, I, that actually makes me think of how, like, um, or another experience I've had commuting with, like, this sort of song is, like, sometimes I get so, like, dozed off or tired during, like, the drive, too. So it's just, like, this will definitely wake me up. <laughs> yeah. Push me forward. That's kind of what I thought, too, about it. That it's really, there's an oomph to it that like, keeps you up. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely, yeah. I was about to say that this fits perfectly to Manila commute because it always feels like you're in a boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so when I first like saw your song choice, Mario, I was like, wow, this is very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boss and fight to get home. Yeah, I was just also listening to the soundtrack, the entire soundtrack last week because I think. Oh wait, it, it was like two weeks ago. I think I also just got the record of the soundtrack for Octopath. Oh, cool. So, yeah, and like every time I listen to, I'm listening to this. It's like similar to getting a cup of coffee. Yes. Oh yeah. It's kind of like a caffeine yeah. burst. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. That's how I would accurately describe it. It's like if Red Bull was a song. Like. <laughs> That energy jolt. Yeah. Sometimes you just need that on your commute. Yeah, you just need that. Yeah, Octopath is great. I really like it. Same. Yeah, yeah I really like it as well. Yeah, I'm hyped for the second one next year. Mm-hmm. Octopath is a really good example of uh, the uh, what's in a name. Because it's like, when Nintendo announced their console was going to be called the Wii, uh, they really needed it to be a success. And eventually everyone stopped caring about the name. <laughs> and I think the same thing happened with Octopath, where people were like, what kind of name is that? But now it's yeah. like, I, I don't hear anyone ever saying that anymore. It's like, yeah, that, game, that was a great game. So so they got away with it. And now they keep doing it with Project Triangle Strategy. <laughs> and <laughs> the, 
Square Enix keeps getting away with it. I mean, what do you think of that name? It's kind of it kind of gives off a different vibe than Octopath. Triangle Strategy. Yeah, it, it's a name. <laughs> it's, it describes it. But the game looks cool, so like I, I can't. I'm not going to fault it. Yeah, I, I mean, Square Square. Some of Square's teams do have done that for so long. Um, like some of the Dissidia games, especially. And I guess there's or also Kingdom Hearts. And Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. like these guys, like this team specifically, like between Octopath and yeah. Triangle Strategy and various day life, you're like, all <laughs> I was right. about to mention default. that. And Bravely Default. Um, <laughs> but you know what? It Somehow it works. It gets the job done. It yep. describes the game. All right. Um, are we ready? We're actually at the halfway point. Are we ready to go on to our second half now? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Audra, what do you got? I have Beyond the Journey from The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3 soundtrack. Sweet. And Tin, we have your second song now. Uh, mine is uh, Locust from Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Sword oh, uh, expansion. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. I don't think I've mentioned on the show ever, even once, that I like Final Fantasy fourteen. So <laughs> surprise. <laughs> I would have never known. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go listen to Beyond the Journey and Locus. Oh, my God. 
waking dream no hope for it here you see the mortal call is out and i've got to spring unwind too slow too quick too much to believe Basically, I love Falcom music. I think they're great for, especially if you're looking for more adrenaline-infused, action-oriented songs. They can't really be beat for that. I mean, especially if you look at like the E soundtracks. But Legend of Heroes has some pretty good songs too. And Beyond the Journey got on my playlist the second I heard it, and I kind of not only does the title fit surprisingly well because it's you know, what's beyond the commute. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just a really energetic song that uh, I enjoy listening to. Now, where, where does it play in the game? It's actually the opening theme. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say it sounded like the opening theme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost picked one myself. Um, I, I almost picked um, Ring a Bell from Tales of Vesperia. But it'll be, I think Ooh. it already featured on the show before. So I went for something else. That's a good one too. Yeah. Oh, anime opening songs like just really work for commutes. Yes. Like, they make you feel good. Uh huh. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh wow, that did feature. I don't re- remember that being on the show. If I had known you would have said that, I probably would have let you do it because that was on episode <laughs> twenty, and that was a long time ago. That's too bad. Would you have? Would you have replaced? Dragon um. Quest. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much Dragon Quest fashion. I'm just asking. I mean, podcast. he would have had to replace one of them. <laughs> I just wonder would it would have been Dragon Quest that made way for Tales or the other song? Uh, the other song, I think. Uh, there's okay. no you, you can't. Yeah, I'm. I there was no way I was going to replace Dragon Quest. Okay. <laughs> what is this anti Dragon Quest agenda? Yeah, nope. nope. I just I'm just saying if he was going to bring a Tales song on, you had to pick two. One of these other ones wouldn't be here. So I was wondering which one it would be. All right. I, I I feel like I'm I'm on the losing side of this battle, so I better uh, I better cool it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Cold Steel Three, yes, good song there. I, I think you're right it too. Is. Like it's 
I'm sure you can build a very, very long playlist uh, for driving and just from Falcon music. So yes, yeah, no, Falcon yes. music. And their guitars, man. Yeah, that that. Yes, I love the guitar riff in this one. Yeah, and yeah. Combining that with the vocals is just really well done. Yeah, this is definitely. I need to get somewhere, and this song is gonna get me there. Kind of music. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what else is good for that? Is this song here from Final Fantasy fourteen? <laughs> that is true. Ooh. Uh, have you like like um, raided during Heaven Sword? Oh boy, have I? Um, <laughs> I I didn't do the at the time. I didn't have like a a group to do like the savage mm-hmm. raids, but the regular mm-hmm. ones, yeah. I mean, I've I've done them a lot. So we might have encountered one another, but who knows? Um, yeah. Um, I was so surprised when I first heard this, like when we, when my raid mates and I first entered Alexander. We were like, what the hell is this music? <laughs> <laughs> this is not for raiding. So yeah, it it kind of got stuck with me ever since. Like apart from hearing it almost every night during raid time. Uh, even like after years now and after so many expansions already, this is like one of my favorite well, Heaven's Word soundtrack was my like favorite among the entire Final Fantasy soundtracks, and I'm not sure, but um, have you heard how Soken um, tried to record this without filters yet? Like just um, mentioning the lyrics because it it sounded really hil- hilarious, and it was so out of tune before they uh, changed the entire thing oh i didn't actually <laughs> you should try to look it up it's 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 online i'll okay. try to send it later <laughs> okay but then yeah i chose this because like um it was like my early hype like knowing that i have raiding to do when i get home after a long day at work so it was since this song is also energetic and it it's sounded most likely more of a rave, like I'm in a club or in an out party <laughs> yeah. or something. Yep, yep. It reminds it me is, of the yeah. Um, yeah, it's the Pulse album, the for Final yeah, Fantasy yeah. fourteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that one it, it, with the electronic vibe as well mm-hmm. and metallic um, feel to it. So, yep. Um, Apart from that, like, actually, my first impression back then when I first heard it was that I wasn't a fan of it because it sounded too good that I cannot focus <laughs> healing. <laughs> 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 like the beat wasn't like in like the tune of it was not m- matching with the, all the movements that we had to do and all the rotations that we had to do while doing the entire raid so there were a lot of deaths and wipes raid wipes when this song was playing so it it's a mix of tiring and good fun memories with old friends so yeah i I really really like this song yeah i i just think so many of the songs in that whole raid series must have just been so much fun to put together um, the other one gave off like a Power Ranger theme. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, it was totally like very unique for me in the sense that uh, Soken is not normal. Like he could, <laughs> <laughs> he could, he could like play a very mellow music and then instantly. Uh, change into something like this you know like it, right. he's very random so I actually um, adore the entire soundtrack for 14 because of him and yeah. apart from that is that I'm also already looking forward to the soundtrack of 16 because of him as well oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait I hope they have something like this in 16 that would be so cool <laughs> <laughs> I won't be surprised <laughs> Knowing him, so he could get really like um, very random in a sense. 
but still manages to pull it off. So yeah. yeah. I mean, there's an emphasis, you know, the whole, a lot of what's going on in 16 revolves around summons. So, you know, if Alexander yeah. shows up, oh, yeah. oh let's go. <laughs> yeah, as someone who hasn't played FF14, um, yeah, I was very surprised at this song too, the fact that it's like an Alexander theme, because, um, yeah, this, like, this techie sort of electronic music is not what I would associate with the giant castle. So, um, a giant robotic castle. True, yeah. true, true. But yeah, I guess, yeah, I think of, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't think of like more of the medieval side uh -huh. of Alexander rather than like the um, mm -hmm. kind of robotic side. But yeah, no, I think that it was very surprising. <laughs> I bet. I mean, if you've never heard it and you're like, yeah, I, I yeah. Can't, can't imagine. <laughs> Just no context. It's really <laughs> funny hearing a lot of things from FF14 with no context of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, like, on my feed, I'll just see a lot of um, like cat people and stuff like that, and just not knowing who these characters are. It's it's very funny hearing about <laughs> FF14 secondhand. Yeah, I mean the the variety of songs and music styles in that game means like you're probably constantly surprised. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, and then you hear some stuff from like N Walker, and yeah, it's it's always it's a variety is a very good word for it. Uh huh. So, yeah, I mean it makes sense given the scope of how many expansions and how big a game it is. Right. Well, I, I'm happy you brought this one. Uh, I'm I'm a little sorry that I didn't ever get to see like, well, at least not yet, the the savage versions of those raids, but uh, mm -hmm. they were fun, and I'm glad that it's like it holds such a special place in your heart, like the memories you have with it, and even if those memories are dying because you guys were enjoying the song too much. <laughs> 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 I feel like uh, my current group uh, sometimes has that with uh, the Endwalker raids right now. Mm -hmm. Um, just because the song in uh, the two the two middle raids both have the same song and it's super good. Um, actually, the f the first raid of this tier, uh, the first fight is also good and it sort of sounds like a Persona song. Like there are some mm -hmm. some styles and music in that song well, that, that sounds like something yeah. in Persona. So not that that's on the show today and that's a tangent, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. We're not rating this this week or next week, so I'm like I'm, depri <laughs> I'm deprived right now. So, are we ready to move on to our last block? I yeah, I think so. Sure. Yeah. All yeah. right, Mario, what you got? Um, what do I have? I have um, your affection from Persona Four, and this is um, a lot more mellow than my previous song pick, but <laughs> it's it's a vibe. It is a vibe. You know, for yeah. just a moment, I thought you meant that you you have my affection. Oh, you do. <laughs> you do. I mean, do but I you know? met the song. You met the song. <laughs> so, all right. Um, and then Geo, what's your what's your other Dragon Quest song today? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I I brought the world doesn't change even so uh, from it's by Aya Kamiki, but it's actually um the ending theme of Four to Eight Shibuya Scramble, which is a Dragon Quest spinoff. Oh, is it? <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> I th See, I thought you were just completely ignoring me there. And Okay, all right. I like what you did with that. All right. Let's go, let's go listen to your affection and the world doesn't change even so.
Cool. Okay, so let's talk about having your affection <laughs> for Persona 4. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so, yeah, this song's a lot more mellow than、um, channeling energies of the Dark God, but it's very much, I think this song's a bop, and I think because of like when it plays in Persona 4 too, because it's like the after school, like afternoon kind of song with like the sunset and everything, like I think that's kind of what. Makes me associate that with, like, oh, it's after work or it's time to go home and that kind of that kind of mood. So, yeah.、Um, I guess the sunset part of it's kind of lost because it's like dark this time of year around here by the time I get off work. But usually, like, when the sun's not down yet by like 5 30, it's like sunset y. So, yeah. But I think it's just a good bop and a good kind of,、um, yeah. Bop. Mar, you brought like one of my favorite songs. Like, <laughs> in general, this is one of my favorite songs. It's really good. No,、yeah. I really like it. I, I was going to bring it, like, a version of it to、um, the, the upcoming episode、uh, spoilers. But yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no. I, I don't mean to say that. It's more like, I, I just, I, I just want to say, like, I love this song so much. It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. No, I really like it. I feel like. It has that sort of like comfy,、um, like, yeah, I think, well, yeah, a lot of Persona music's great. I know it's not really a hot take or anything, but <laughs> I think it has, they're very much, a lot of the songs do sound like the emotion they're trying to convey, you know? So I think this is a good sort of capturing that feeling of being done with school and now you have to kind of do your thing. Yeah, 100%. No, no, it's. It's great. And it's like, it's perfect, like you said, for like this time of day and the setting. And like, it's just a great choice all around. I was singing along and bopping my head to it. <laughs> and I've heard, <laughs> so heard it again. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good bop. The sunset description is very accurate. Like, you can totally imagine it while listening to this song. Yeah. yeah. And like, I feel like if you have this in the entire playlist, in one playlist, You would only just be listening to this on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done that before. Yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh huh. This song is a have it on repeat kind of song.、Mm -hmm. I feel like similarly about,、um, like, it has that sort of,、um, yeah, like after work vibe. And it kind of reminds me of how, like, Animal Crossing music does, like, the, their 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. music of that sort of just, like, end of day, like, okay, it's time to go home and, um, End of the workday kind of thing, too. So, yeah, I think it's it's cool when games capture that feeling really well. Yeah. Wow. I, I wouldn't have normally thought to compare anything from Persona <laughs> to Animal Crossing, but that's that's a great comparison. Yeah. 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 They, they're both good for that wind down part of the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're both different, but they both give off the same feeling. Yeah. All right. You want to talk about your, your song here, Gio? Yeah, I, I think mine. I feel like for me, it captures like a similar vibe of like coming home after work. And like this one is like this song,、uh, it's like because one of the things I do or I feel after work is like I am kind of wistful and、um, kind of like it, 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 it's kind of a tired sounding song in a way, even though it's kind of upbeat. And yeah, it also lets me indulge my, my main character syndrome because like I, I feel like I'm in a Music video or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, the, the video I linked to is like a music video. And like,、um, it, yeah, it feels that way. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm in an urban setting. I'm coming home from work. And yeah, I, yeah, I, I really like that. I like to have that feeling sometimes. So, yeah. Yeah. I think you mentioned this is a credits music, right? Yeah, it's credits music. Cool, cool, yeah, no, definitely, yeah, it does give that sort of wistful vibe that you mentioned. And, like,、um, yeah, I guess in its own way, driving home is kind of the credits to the workday, so. Yes. Yeah. And I love the vocals in it. Yeah. She's a. Like, it's funny because, like, in, in the game, like, she's mentioned, as far as I know, like, like the, one of the characters is, is, like, a fan of the vocalist. So. Oh, neat. Yeah. And so. It's like you're kind of listening to his playlist or something. So,、oh, that's、yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty neat trick. All right. I think since we're talking about it, I think it'd be good to have the music video in the show notes. So, I'll make sure we do that. It is a fun video to watch, too. So, 
Has has anyone on the show today played this game besides Geo? I actually haven't. I have have not, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Uh, I happen to have like an extra copy of the game. Like I, I'm just like I I asked for it for Christmas and two people got it for me. So (laughs) wow, wow, an extra copy. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. (laughs) So Tin can have it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the next time we meet. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Very nice of you. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those games that like is sitting in like my library on my PS4. So you know, the ones that like it slides gradually off over to the right, and you forget that that menu's <laughs> over there. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. I just need to like remember that it's there one day and play it. Yeah, it, it's a it's a game that makes you feel good because it's it's genuinely like really stupid. Like there's so much. <laughs> <laughs> there's so Perfect. many. Yeah, like it's it, there's like a girl in a cat costume and she has like amnesia. She doesn't remember who she is, but and like she just does like the funniest things in the cat costume. It's it's so funny. Yeah. When I first saw it, actually, I thought it was a movie. Yeah. Like the cover of the game. <laughs> <laughs> right. It looks yeah. like a movie. Yeah. It's like yeah. a it's like a it's not an FMV, but it's like a, a visual novel where instead of illustrations, it's like a bunch of photos of. It's like they. Yeah. They, it's it's yeah. probably the reason why. Yeah, I've never heard it described as just stupid and silly. Uh, I usually just hear that it's good. Uh, it's good. So now, yeah. now I'm even more curious for different reasons. Yeah, now I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah. I love stupid. Yeah, same. All right. Well, that was a really fun selection of songs. So I appreciate all of you for bringing those on today. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so, of course, we're going to end with our bonus track, but we got to talk about, well, we don't have to talk about what's coming next, but I want to. Um, so that was our show on commuting. Whatever this is going to be titled, I don't know. Uh, hopefully we come up with a good title in the next couple of weeks here. So after this, uh, we only have two more episodes for the rest of the year um, uh, as G- shoot. Well, one of you, I forgot if it was Gio or Mario, alluded to. I think it was Gio. Uh, the next episode is Persona music. So uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have an episode about Persona because as much as we love Persona around here, we have not featured it on this show in way too long. So I think it's about time we change that. Um, and then our last episode of 2022 will be a Music of the Year special episode uh, coming right around right after christmas actually so i'm i'm excited about that i'm trying to get as many people on as possible so i know one of you today is on that episode if anyone else wants to uh not to put pressure on you but you are welcome (laughs) if you want to bring on some 2022 music uh i think it's gonna be a fun time yeah so if you have thoughts on this episode um if you want to tell us like what you listen to on your commute um you know you of course can talk about it on the rpg fan page um you can also email us at music at rpgfan.com uh you can reach me specifically at mike at rpgfan.com um so what is the best way to reach all of you uh starting with audra audra b at rpgfan.com for email okay and geo yeah um i would say twitter but i think twitter is collapsing uh, like <laughs> right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, I'm on the RPG fan Discord. You, I'm Geo there, so yeah, um, you can reach me there, and also you can email me at geo at rpgfan.com. Yeah, this, this would probably be, this would be a good time to like push our Discord, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, what's what's a good way for people to reach you if they would like to, Mario? Um, yeah, for me, I'm also on Twitter, which is yeah, that is an interesting situation. But um, if Twitter is still a thing. Um, my Twitter is exptooney, so that's E-X-P-T-O-O-N-Y. And I'm also on the RPG fan socials, so we're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Nice. And how about you, Tin? Uh, similar to Geo, I'm at the RPG fan Discord. You can just freely send me a message there, and my name there is Tin, so it won't be hard to find. Very easy, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so along with this show, uh, RPG Fan also has some other things like, you know, a website at RPGFan.com. Um, but we also have two other podcasts. We have Random Encounter, our general gaming, new stuff, uh, 
interviews. Uh, we've been doing a lot of interesting things on Random Encounter lately, so be sure to check out Random Encounter for other RPG podcast needs. And then every week on Thursday is Retro Encounter. I really should have written down when this is going to air. I think when this goes up... Oh, yeah, this is actually going to go up right after our all three Mass Effect episodes of Retro had posted. So I definitely Woo-hoo. encourage you to check those out because hey. a few of the people played all three Mass Effect games uh, for this, which is, by the way, that's a lot of game. Um, I know that they is. spread them out over the fall, but like still to, like to commit to all three of those to do a month of Mass Effect is very impressive. So um, as we record, Mass Effect 2 just went up, but by the time this releases, Mass Effect 3 should also be out. So be sure to check those out. Um, so as Mario said, we're, the site is also on Twitter for now and Facebook and Instagram. Um, be sure to also check out our Twitch. Scott is doing stuff on Twitch constantly. So that's always a good time to watch. So we would welcome you, know, you hanging out there, whether you're talking or just lurking and watching. Uh, I think you will have something to watch. And well, you will have something to watch, but something you should enjoy. <laughs> Um, whether it's Star Ocean 6 or Disgaea 4, um, there's a lot of stuff going on on Twitch right now. So, yeah. Um, and then lastly, uh, if you enjoy this show, um, one, you can email us at music at rpgfan.com. I know I already said that, but um, but you can also, if you would like to review us or rate us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, subscribe, support us, however you can do that, uh, we would appreciate that. So, I think that's all of my housekeeping. So our last thing today is our bonus track. And since usually we try to have someone new to the show pick one, uh, Tin, since this was your first time on the show, and by the way, you did great. um, (laughs) Thanks. What is our bonus track today? The song I picked is, I guess, a perfect way to end our long day. So I picked... uh, Peaceful Days by Yasunori Mitsuda from Chrono Trigger Soundtrack. So, yeah. Uh, Sit down, relax, or grab some food. And then just listen to some relaxing tunes to end the day. Yep. Now, I know you don't know this going into it. So, I know you didn't pick it to, like, earn points or whatever. But (laughs) I will say that this is my favorite RPG. So, I'm very happy that we're... (laughs) We're closing with this song. So excellent, (laughs) excellent choice. So I like that with Geo's Dragon Quest song, we started off with like a piece. (laughs) No, 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 no. I'm not. There is no shade here. There's no shade here. No, I'm saying we started off with like this nice, peaceful, you know, relaxing commuting song. And then we went up to some more upbeat. And then we're closing on a similar note. It uh, it kind of came full circle. See yeah, that yeah. that wasn't where you thought yeah, I was going was, with it. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was clean. I do like the song order. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect. All right. yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna close out with peaceful days. Uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you all four of you for being here. So this was a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you next time.
All right, I think we're ready to go on, but I'm watching Matoya because she looks like she's, you know, like when a, when a kid is like trying to, you know, sneak a cookie or something. <laughs> yeah. And you walk it. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Like she knows I'm like looking at her. I'm like I'm still watching you. I didn't turn away. She knows you're about to be on recording and can't do anything. <laughs> I know. Like she's like happy to like munch on things, but then sometimes she tries to push like the fence of her play area out. And now she's eating a cake. <laughs> 